Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us see how we can find the determinant by using a method called the diagonal product. So in here, let us say we have a matrix uh, of this type. I'm explaining the procedure in here and we will try to solve some problems after explaining this procedure. If A is a matrix which has the following elements, A11, A12, A13, in the first row. In the second row, we have A21, A22, A23. And in the third row, we have A32, A31, A31, A32, A33. And this A11, A12, A13 are a21, A22, A23, or A31, A3, 3 to A3, 3, 3 means it is indicating, uh, it is uh, giving us the location of that element. A11 means first row, first column. A33 means third row, third column, and so on. Okay. So, uh, in this diagonal product method, the way we want to do this is as follows. I'm going to write these in these different step steps. Step number one. We're going to copy the first and second columns of the given matrix to form a fourth and fifth columns. So what am I saying? Let me write that down here. A11, A12, A13, that is the given matrix. A21, A22, A23. And then we have A31, A32, A33. and what we are trying to do here is we are going to copy the first and second column elements uh, and then make, an, uh, make another uh, column out of that by saying this is going to be the fourth and fifth column. So the first column we will write as fourth column here as A11, A21 and A31 and the fifth column would be the second column repeat A12 a22 and a32 and we have got all the all the elements down all the elements down and therefore let me clean this thing up a little bit this is 3 2 this is going to be 3 2 and now we are ready to perform this diagonal product we will use this diagonal product method I'm going to use a different color to mark something here. In here we're going to um, we're going to draw these lines like this and I'm going to put an arrow here draw these lines along these elements draw an arrow there draw uh, lines along this three elements and draw an arrow there and then when we are multiplying these elements we're going to add and then go to the next uh, diagonal and go to the next diagonal like that and then and when on the other side we're going to connect these three elements going to connect, connect these three elements and we're going to connect these three elements and this time we're going to subtract the product of these elements and the way to do that is as follows I'm going to write here now so the the determinant of A, matrix A, we can come come back and then write this one out as follows. This is going to be A11 times A12 times, no, A11, let me erase this, A11 times A22 times A33. So that is the product of the first diagonal there, then we add and then go up, then A12 times A23 times A31, okay, and then we're going to go up um, and then add the product of those three elements in that diagonal there, which is connecting those three elements in that diagonal there, and those are A13 times A21 times A32 
we have exhausted the diagonals coming down and then we are going to go after the diagonals the elements which are connected by the diagonals going up so minus a31 times a22 times a13 then minus a32 times a23 times a11 and then the last one is minus a33 times a21 times a12 and when we do this if we were to take an example and then follow this procedure we should be able to find the determinant of this matrix in my next presentation we shall see an example using this diagonal product method